Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to make my favorite easy chocolate cupcakes. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I am so excited to be sharing another carefully tested, well-researched and perfected recipe. I actually shared these chocolate cupcakes many, many years ago on the blog. The recipe was a little bit awkward because it made quite a large number of cupcakes. So I have scaled it down just a little bit. The recipe is essentially the same with a few minor tweaks to make a batch of 24 even cupcakes. Let's go ahead and get started by preheating our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now for today's recipe, you're going to need a large mixing bowl and we're going to combine one and two thirds cup of granulated sugar with one and a half cups of all purpose flour two thirds cup of natural unsweetened cocoa powder, one tablespoon of cornstarch, which is a new addition to this recipe. I love it because it keeps the muffins nice and tender and fluffy, and it also gives them slightly domed tops, which is perfect for topping with frosting. Then we'll need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a fourth teaspoons of baking soda, and one teaspoon of table salt. And we're going to whisk these ingredients together until they're thoroughly combined. Now, the next thing you're going to need is one half cup of a neutral cooking oil. Typically, you would use either vegetable oil or canola oil. Today, I'm just using vegetable oil. We'll also add one large egg. And we're also going to add one large egg yolk. So we're just gonna crack that egg and I just like to pass the yolk back and forth between the shell, let the white fall through, and we can just discard the white. We'll add the yolk into our batter and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. All right, now we're going to stir these ingredients together until they are thoroughly combined. Now, for today's recipe, you could absolutely use your stand mixer, or you could use an electric hand mixer. Today, I'm just going to be mixing everything by hand. I think that's just going to give you a better feel for the batter, and I want you to be able to see all the steps really well. Now, if you are mixing the batter together by hand, like I am today, this step is going to create a pretty stiff it's more like a dough than a batter at this point. What you want to do though is make sure that all of the ingredients are moistened, you don't have any dry flour patches remaining. So this is looking pretty good, everything's pretty well combined. So now we are going to gradually add a two thirds cup of whole milk to the batter. All right, now after adding the milk, you do want to stir until the batter is nice and uniform in consistency. Make sure you are using a spatula to scrape the sides and bottom of the bowl while mixing. All right, now the final ingredient for today's recipe is one cup of very hot water or hot coffee. Today I am using hot coffee because I like the way that the coffee brings out the chocolate flavor and just enriches the cupcakes. However, hot water would work instead. I do wanna note that it is important that the liquid you use be very hot. It can even be boiling because that hot liquid is going to bloom our cocoa powder and it's also going to be key in developing that rich chocolate flavor. Now, because this liquid is hot, you want to be careful when you're adding it and stir it in carefully so you don't splash and burn yourself. Now I'm gonna use my whisk to whisk these ingredients together because I want a nice smooth batter. While it's not impossible to overmix this batter, it's a lot more difficult to do that here than it is with say my vanilla cake recipe. So you don't really have to worry about that. You just wanna make sure everything is really well combined and your batter is nice and uniform. Now another thing you'll probably note about today's recipe is the batter is really, really thin. It's almost soupy or watery. That is how it should be. If your batter looks like this, you're on the right track. So now we can go ahead and divide our batter into our cupcake liners. Now today's recipe makes 24 cupcakes. I'm just gonna go ahead and prepare 12 of them now to show you. Now with this batter, because it's so thin, it's very, very important that you do not overfill your cupcake liners. You wanna fill them between one half to two thirds of the way full. You can use an ice cream scoop to do this, or you can use a measuring cup or whatever you'd like, but I found using a regular spoon is kind of a little bit messy. Now this comes to about three tablespoons of batter per cupcake. Now this batter should make an even 24 cupcakes, but if you happen to have any batter left over, I recommend you discard it. Do not overfill your cupcake liners or your cupcakes are gonna overflow. They're not gonna have those nice dome tops. They're probably gonna collapse in on themselves and just be kind of messy. All right, now while this recipe does make 24 cupcakes, your standard muffin tin holds 12 cupcakes, and I do recommend baking them one tray at a time. These cupcakes will need to bake for about 17 to 19 minutes, and you wanna make sure you're baking them in the center rack of your oven. When they're finished baking, they should spring back if lightly touched, and a toothpick inserted in the center should come out clean or with a few moist or fudgy crumbs. These are looking pretty good, so we're going to want to let them cool in their muffin tin or cupcake tin for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I like to grab a butter knife and just gently pry them out of their tin. 
and place them in a cooling rack to cool completely. Now, once your cupcakes have cooled completely, we can go ahead and cover them with frosting. Today, I am using my chocolate frosting that I've shared over on the blog. I'll make sure to link to that in the recipe so you can use this one as well. But really, these cupcakes taste great with any kind of frosting. Now I'm using my favorite Attico 848 tip today. I will make sure to link to this as well. And I like to just do a simple swirl. Of course, you can also do these taller frosting swirls like I do in the photos that I shared over in my blog, whichever you prefer. Now, if you wanna do all of them that tall, you're going to want to double your frosting. Of course, we'll top these off with some sprinkles. And that is all there is to making my favorite super easy chocolate cupcakes. These are better than a box mix, I guarantee it. I cannot wait for you guys to try this recipe if you haven't already. If you do try it out, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I always love hearing from you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, you know I'm going for the one with the tall frosting. These are so soft and moist. <laughs> That's a good cupcake.